What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about the brand approval, brand registry, and trademark process for Amazon FBA. So what all these mean, when you need them, how to get them. I'm gonna explain this step-by-step step in this video here today. This is important because there's a lot of confusion on these topics of when you need what, what is what, what features come with what, and also making sure that you don't make mistakes that you can't fix later, like putting your brand name in your listing. If you put that as generic, you're gonna have issues down the line. There's a certain order we have to do this in too to prevent the most hassle with Amazon as well because there's a lot of issues going on when it comes to brand registry and brand approval in which order we should get these in. So in a moment, I'm gonna go on screen to show you exactly what that is. For anybody new on the channel, my name's Cameron James. I've been selling on Amazon for six years now. I made every mistake in the book. I've gone through this the hard way myself. So this channel is here just to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that I have and to help build you a six and seven figure Amazon FBA business, which I've been fortunate enough to do on multiple occasions. So if you guys wanna avoid mistakes that I've made in the past to save you time and money, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, let's hop into my screen. So the first thing I wanna talk about guys is the brand approval process. Okay, so what is brand approval? Brand approval is when you get your brand name approved by Amazon so you can use it. Now you do not need a trademark with this. You do not need brand registry with this. This is just so you can use a brand name on your actual listing. And so you don't have to use the word generic on your listing, which makes you more prone to having hijackers on your listing, people not trusting your product, as well as if you don't do this right away, it's almost impossible to get an actual brand name on your listing later. So you wanna do this right the first time. Now, even if you want to get brand registry or a trademark later, I still suggest doing brand approval first. Here's why. I've seen more and more people have the issue going through the brand registry process without brand approval. You need a lot more documents. They flag your product later. You need to send them like a letter of affiliation, which makes no sense at all. So technically, yes, you could just go get brand registry if you already have a trademark, which we're going to go deeper into that a little bit later. People are still having issues when they don't do a brand approval first. So even if you have a trademark, I suggest getting brand approval first. Now, how you do this is make your listing. And then at the end of the listing, it's going to prompt you with error code 5665, which looks a lot like this. Actually, it looks exactly like this. It's gonna look like this. So it's gonna say 5665, request approval for Unique Jimmy, which is the brand name I was trying to use here. And then it has a link right here to get you the application. Now there's applications for trademarks, brand approval, and brand registry. To stop this from being an hour long, two hour long video, I have specialized videos just in those applications alone. I'm gonna link those all down below for you to watch after this video. But make sure you watch all the way through. There's gonna be things you need to know. And then I'll link how to list your product, how to get brand approval, how to get brand registry, how to get your own trademark in step-by-step -step form. Just again, I don't wanna make this a two hour long video. I just want you to understand the order of operations and what everything is here. So to bypass this error code 5665, so say you're not getting that prompt, you can actually search this in the help right here go to received an error code, hit next, hit error code right here, hit next, hit 5665 right here, hit next. And it actually tells you ex exactly what I'm saying here. So it actually wants you to recreate the error by listing the product again. So go to add products, begin to add the products, which prompts you into getting this right here. If you're not getting this, or you just don't wanna go through it and say you just wanna get brand approval right away, then you can actually just make a case. So if you're unable to create the error or if the selling application is not available, click on create a case and provide the required information the next step so we can assist you. Things you'll need are photos of your product with the brand name on it. I suggest having a couple of these, whether it's just your product packaging or your product itself with a brand name on it. Just so you know, this can't be a tag or a sticker, anything like that it needs to be permanently affixed. So if you can't get this to pop up, make sure you make a case to go through the brand approval process. This is what you're gonna to wanna to do first regardless. Next, I wanna talk about brand registry and trademarks. Okay, so brand registry requires a trademark to get on Amazon. Now, why do we want brand registry? Well, it unlocks a lot of features for our account. It unlocks the Vine program, which allows you to get up to 30 reviews per ASIN underneath that brand name. It unlocks A plus content, which allows you to put a pretty much a website on your Amazon page, which can boost up to three to 5% for conversion rates, it allows you to do brand ads, video ads, allows you to get in the transparency program, counterfeit crimes unit, project zero, which you can read about more if you'd like. Now I just typed in brand registry Amazon and this popped up right here. So if you wanna get enrolled, this is how you do that by clicking here. But again, you need a trademark for this. So brand registry, obviously the application, I'm gonna link a walkthrough for the application down below so you can see that after the video. So again, I suggest getting brand approval before you start this process. I know it doesn't make any sense 
But trust me, with all the errors people are having, I'm seeing the best results if you get brand approval first and then brand registry so you don't have to go through all the baloney of getting your product taken down 30 days later to send in some baloney letter of letter of affiliation and then manufacturer invoices, all that good stuff there. Yes, some of that you'll have to put in right away when brand registry, but at least you're not gonna get taken down 30 days later and lose momentum. So people asking, how do you get a trademark, Cam? Well, the best way is to go to the USPTO office. You can actually do this yourself. So it's a filing fee of $250. You just go to apply online right here at the USPTO office and you can actually do this yourself. Again, I have a full walkthrough video of how to do this yourself. If I had three hours tonight, I would just go do this on this one video. But again, this is gonna be like your guide of how everything works. And then you could just go click the link you need down below, okay? You can also, if you don't wanna do this yourself, cause it is kind of, it's not the easiest thing, but it, it's not undoable, okay? You can hire people to go do this for you, especially if you live outside the country, you're gonna to wanna to have a US lawyer do this for you. US citizens, you're fine to do this on your own. So Fiverr, you can do this. Just make sure you're picking someone who's reputable and doing your research there. Or if you just Google file a trademark, plenty of services out there that do this for you, okay? So to repeat the timeline here, make your listing, then get the brand approval, okay? So the application will pop up, or you can make a case to that search query like I just showed you. And you wanna do this to prevent all issues when it comes to brand registry and trademarks. So your next step is actually get your trademark, and with the pending trademark number, that's all you need, and then you can go file underneath that same brand name into brand registry to unlock all those features right there. Now you may be asking, is brand registry worth it? Is a trademark worth it? If you plan to sell long-term, absolutely, okay? Even if you don't plan to sell long-term and you're just testing a product out, I still almost recommend it because for $250, you can get a trademark, get brand registered, and then get in the Vine program to get up to 30 freaking reviews. Reviews are gold on Amazon. Essentially, if you don't have 30 reviews to start, you're not giving yourself a proper chance anyways. Video ads are a dream. A plus content is almost necessary now to compete, to make sure your conversion rates as high as others, as well as branded ads, branded storefront, and a ton of other features. This also gives you access to brand registry support, which is so much better than regular support. So you can make custom cases because you're brand registered and get results faster and talk to people that know what they're talking about versus regular support. So if this is helpful guys for timeline of things, make sure you subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss anything else as well. I'm going to link down below step-by-step -step how to list your product, step-by-step -step how to go through the brand approval process and how that works, how to follow your own trademark, and how that application works. So you can just follow along, watch me do it, as well as the brand registry walkthrough as well. That video has changed a little bit, but most of it is pretty straightforward. If there's anything else in this process that's confusing or you think I missed, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to make a video in the future about it or at least answer your comment. All right, guys, that's all. Hope this was helpful. Make sure you check out those other videos and we'll see you in the next one.